Hi there, this is Jen Kitzmiller with the Weather Service in Missoula, and I have your winter planning briefing, which was recorded on December 23rd, uh, Sunday. Um, looking out here through the next week or so, we know it's a big travel week, lots of people out on the roads. Um, fortunately, we don't see any major systems, but we do have a few weak systems that will be bringing some light snow to the area. Probably the strongest of the systems is actually ongoing, so here today, Sunday, into Monday. Um, so taking a look at that, this is one model depiction of what how precipitation is going to translate through the region here Sunday evening into Monday morning um, and so we have quite a few showers out there through north central Idaho and northwest Montana you'll see that that precipitation is going to gradually shift with time into central Idaho and more so along the continental divide um, and then as we go into Monday morning um, that precipitation continues to shift into Lanhai County, southwest Montana. We're also looking at potential for some snow bands to develop um, late tonight into early Monday morning. Um, so where those develop, there is potential to see some localized moderate snow. Um, however, it doesn't look like those bands will last all that long. And then as we get into Monday afternoon and evening, most of the precipitation should come to an end. So really we're looking at the main period of, of impacts here being overnight Sunday into Monday morning. Looking at snow levels, you'll see by tomorrow, Monday morning, those should be down to roughly 2,000 feet, even a little bit lower in northwest Montana. So most all locations except for the lowest elevation should see snow out of this. Um, so I'm going to just step through. I'll let you guys take a quick peek at what we're looking at for snow amounts. Again, this is overall a pretty light event with probably the the best mountain and past snow occurring through central Idaho. Um, I'm going to step forward. Here's our look through northwest Montana and west central Montana. And then here's a look at southwest Montana. One note for you guys in southwest Montana, you'll see we don't have a lot of snow in the forecast currently, especially over towards Butte, Homestake Pass, McDonald Pass. Um, just a word of caution there, there is potential towards Monday morning that some of those snow bands may reach into that area. Um, and that's not really currently being indicated in this graphic, um, but there are some higher resolution models indicating those snow bands could reach as far as Butte, Homestead Pass, McDonald Pass, the I-90 corridor. So just something to keep in mind, there may actually still be some, some snow um, towards Monday morning in these areas. So the next system we're keeping an eye on is on Tuesday. This one looks really weak, um, really light snow, um, but being that it could still be a travel day being Christmas, um, we wanted to just mention it, and it does look like the main focus with this would be through central Idaho um, into Lemhi County. Um, and then we have another wave on Thursday. This one's a little bit more uncertain. Our forecast models have been kind of struggling with this one, um, but they're digging the system out of the north, and so it could bring another fairly widespread round of uh, very light snowfall on Thursday. And looking at our temperature trends, you'll notice by Wednesday, virtually all locations should see even maximum temperatures um, below freezing. So we've got that general trend towards cooler conditions. Nothing bitterly cold, but um, cold enough by midweek that all elevations should be seeing snow when we get precipitation. So here's our winter weather threat matrix. Um, again, the, the system that's ongoing Sunday into Monday looks like the most significant at this point. So we've highlighted everywhere is yellow for moderate uh, impacts from snow. We've got that weak wave on Tuesday and then another potential wave on Thursday that could bring another period of light snow. So at this point, uh, we are still planning on doing our next briefing on Thursday, December 27th. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.